All right, guys, just approaching the fishing spot now. Uh, basically, I did the same thing today as I did, did last time. Um, I took a bicycle and I was basically looking for uh, open spots with, with jumping fish, uh, and that's that's how I ended up uh, here. I have no idea where I am, somewhere in Tuckwilla, I think, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, and today I'm actually gonna be, um, you know, drifting a, a bobber uh, with a half an ounce of weight under it, then a swivel, and then essentially a pink jig. This is a technique that I learned from a channel called Fish On Boys, uh, so definitely check out his content. Uh, he did, he's produced some great videos and like, uh, reading the tide to catch coho and, and essentially like how to catch chum salmon and that kind of thing so i'm basically using exactly the technique that i learned from his videos um so with that you know let's 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 get fishing uh, as always you know half of the the proceeds from this channel get donated to an ocean conservation organization called oceana uh, so if you do enjoy this content please like and subscribe below let's get fishing Yep, yep. Oh, it's a decent one. I had it for a second there. Cool. I'm gonna call that a catch. I think I am gonna release it. It's just a little on the big side. So I left it in the water, uh, basically because it is illegal to um, take salmon out of the water and then return them to the water when you're fishing in the freshwater in, in uh, Washington. So here's just a, a screenshot of that law. But that is, that is crazy. So it's amazing that a fish that big, you know, bit of lure this small, right? Um, this is a quarter inch, or a quarter ounce, I should say, like pink jig, a little bit of shrimp on it, and man, just annihilated it.
Just like All right, it's picking up today. The last one was, uh, let's say 10 pounds-ish. This one's six, seven. Jeez. Wow, look at that, look at that. I think it's picking up. Two fish and like three casts. The current has basically stopped also, so my daughter's almost, almost holding still at this point. I don't know if that really kills my chances, but uh... Size male. Look at that. And again, not fully taking it out of the water, that's against the law, but wow, look at that. I got one last piece of shrimp. This is just so interesting. I still can't get over how small of a jig you need for this. I'm so used to like hoochies this big and 11 inch flasher boards, you know, about four and a half miles an hour or something like that for coho. It's unbelievable that this works, but I've probably caught more fish in the last two days than I typically do on the sound in two days. Well, with the exception of peak coho season. I, you know, I hooked 11 at the um, coho derby last year. shockingly effective technique. Huge thank you again to Fish Iron Boys for posting such such great content. Definitely like and subscribe to his videos before you like and subscribe to mine. Very cool stuff. <laughs> two cast, two fish. so weird how you can run that gonda 20 times and catch nothing and then all of a sudden one, one takes and it's chrome and it's small so this is going to be my keeper if I can land it
And again, barbless hooks. Just gotta keep some tension on. Yeah, that's chrome enough. That's definitely chrome enough. Oh, I think it's a female. All right, here we go. Nice chrome-ish chum salmon. Uh, I believe this one's a female. Uh, the one yesterday was a male, so uh, pretty great catch. I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, poor thing's got a gash in its tail. I'm definitely not going to eat that. Sometimes when there's a, a gash on a fish, there's actually parasites that, that uh, end up entering the body. So I'm going to um, essentially cut that out, but the rest of this should be pretty good. Pretty excited about this. This is my, my one catch for today. Probably my last salmon of the year, actually. Um, the salmon season's winding down anyway, uh, but but yeah, so this is, uh, this is probably the last salmon I, I keep this year.